Maybe we should make a line so we don't keep bumping into each other. Oh, good idea, Curtis. Who should go first? We could line up in order from tallest to shortest. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that is a great idea. Barney is the tallest and biggest. He should go first. Oh, okay. I'm next because I'm the next tallest. Then me and Ashley. But who's taller? Let's measure. It looks like Curtis is a little bit taller, so he should go next, then Ashley. And I'm the shortest, so I'm last. Ooh, everyone is a different size. Some are big, <laughs> and some are little, and some are in between. Oh, yes. Big. Little. Big. Little. We're big and little and short and tall. Some are in the middle, some are very small. We come in all shapes and sizes. Hey, little, little, we're big and little and everything in between. Ooh, big! Little! Big! Little! We're big and little and short and tall. Detectives, it looks like you're ready to solve this mystery. Kristen, since you're the biggest, why don't you get us started? Okay, Barney. <laughs> Have you found anything? Not yet. <laughs> Someone just your size to look on the bottom shelf for clothes. While I look way up here on top. I guess you're right, Barney. I'm just the right size to look down here. Uh huh. Besides, he won't be little for long. You're growing bigger every day. I am growing bigger. Last week, my mom bought me some new shoes. She did? My old ones were getting too small. Did you get red shoes? Red is my favorite color. I like red, but I picked out blue tennis shoes. That's my favorite color. Oh, really? <laughs> I like blue, too. <laughs> Yellow is my favorite color, just like a banana or the sun. Well, my favorite color is green, like the grass. What's your favorite color, Barney? Oh, I like red and blue and yellow and green, but I guess my favorite color is... Purple! <laughs> How did you know? Oh, okay, come on, let's get colorful! We like colors, we like them a lot. We've got colors, colors we got. Apple or a cherry, the sun when it sets, or a ripe strawberry. Blue is the sky, blue is the sea, blue is the color of a blueberry. Colors all around, all around the world, every boy and girl. Orange is a pumpkin, orange is a carrot, orange is an orange. We can share it. Colors we've got. Colors we've got. Red, blue, and yellow. Red, blue, and yellow. Purple, orange, green. Purple, orange, green. Black, white, brown. Black, white, brown. Every color in between. Every color in between. Colors all around, all around the world. For every boy and girl. Come on now. Colors all around, all around the world. For every boy and girl.
find anything? I thought I saw something move over by the window, but I don't see anything now. Wow, this picture you painted is really good, Ashley. Thanks. I wanted to paint a picture of me for my grandmother. It looks just like you. Thanks, Barney. I painted my hair and my eyes brown, just the way they really are. My picture would look really different because I have blue eyes. And I would need lots of purple paint for my picture. I guess we're different sizes and different colors. But we're all special just the way we are. <laughs> You are special, you're the only one, you're the only one like you. There isn't another in the whole wide world who can do the things you do. Because you are special, special. on the table. It's another clue. Now we know our mysterious visitor likes to drink milk. Mm, very interesting. Did you find the gorilla? Huh? Huh? Did you find him? Why, Scooter McNutty, your imagination does run wild. <laughs> we haven't seen a gorilla, Scooter, but someone drank all the milk. Well, then it's not a gorilla. Nope. Gorillas don't like milk. It must be... An elephant. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Elephants like milk. <laughs> so now you're an expert on elephants? I don't think so, my dear Scooter. <laughs> I don't think it's an elephant either, Miss Etta. <laughs> do elephants really like to drink milk? Well, baby elephants do. Oh, I love to drink milk. It's my favorite. I'm allergic to milk. You can't drink milk? No, but I do like to drink apple juice. Ooh, apple juice is good, especially with my favorite, peanut butter. Peanut butter is great with my favorite, crunchy apple. Apples are good, but I like oranges best. I guess we all like different things. Well, it's a good thing there are so many good things to snack on. <laughs> Have a snack. Eat an apple or an orange, have a snack, munch a cherry or a grape, have a snack, have some celery or carrots, have a snack, yeah, broccoli is great. When you want something crunchy, when you want something sweet, fruit and vegetables are always fun to eat. before. This could be another clue. Hmm. Now we know our visitor likes milk and toys that squeak. And knocking things over. Did you find that elephant yet? 
No elephants, but we did find this toy mouse. Well, then it can't be an elephant. Everybody knows elephants are afraid of mice. Well, really, Scooter, I believe that's only true in stories. Boy, I'm sure glad we don't have any elephants around here. <laughs> well, then it must be a tiger. Yeah, that's what it is. A tiger? Here? Do tigers like to drink milk and play with squeaky toys? I don't think so. Good day, mate. Good day. Good day, Stella. Good day, Barney. Mm -hmm. That's how they say good day in Australia, the land of kangaroos and koalas. And that's where I just came from. <gasps> what you doing? Someone's been making messes around here, but we don't know who. It's a mystery. We're looking for clues to find out who it is. We know they like to drink milk and play with toys that squeak. Hmm, very interesting. Well, I don't know who your mysterious visitor is, but that mouse reminds me of a story. Would you like to hear it? <laughs> we always like to hear a wonderful story. And the best part is, you all get to help me tell it. Story. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a mouse who lived in the city. The city mouse loved the bright lights of the city and dancing to loud music with her friends. Cool music. Hey, let's dance. lived in a big fancy house and snacked on cheese every day. And each night, the city mouse slept in a snuggly warm box. Ugh, oh, the life of a city mouse. But one day, the city mouse decided she was tired of the city. I'm like, don't think I want to be a city mouse anymore. I want to be, you know, just like my country cousin. So she decided to go live with her cousin on a farm in the country where there's lots of fresh air and sunshine. When she arrived, the country cousin and his wife were very happy to see her. Welcome to the country, cousin. Are you hungry? Yes, but I like, don't want to be any trouble. I want to be, you know, just like you. I'll have some cheese, please. We don't eat cheese in the country, but we do have some delicious seeds. These seeds taste like very different from cheese. I don't think I like them. I sure wish I had some cheese. After dinner, the city mouse was ready for a night on the town. Where are all the bright lights and the loud music? It's like so quiet out here in the country. We don't have any bright lights or loud music out here in the country. You must be tired after your long journey. Would you like to go to sleep? Uh, yes, but I like don't want to be any trouble. I want to be just like you. Where do you sleep? We sleep outside in a nest. Even when it rains? I don't think I like sleeping in a nest. That's very different from my house. I sure miss my snuggly warm box in the city. And next morning, the city mouse was ready to go home. Well, like, thanks for letting me come for a visit in the country, cousin. But I think I like living in the city better. That's okay. We like living out here in the country. But you are always welcome to visit anytime. Bye. Bye. Stella for telling us the story of the city mouse and the country mouse. It was lots of fun. Yeah. You all did such a wonderful job of acting it out. Oh, yeah. Well, I hope you find out who your mysterious visitor is, but I really must be going. So, as they say in Australia, good day, mate. <laughs> good day, Stella. Bye. 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 I guess the city mouse and the country mouse found out they like different things. Just like we all like different things. Hey, oh, you've got to be you. I've got to be me. 
It's as simple as one, two, three. Nobody else can do it like you do, cause you've got to be you. I can dance, and I can sing. I can run and jump and swing. I can do it my own way, and that is why we sing. Well, you've got to be you. Tiger in our classroom. It's not a tiger. It's my kitten. So it's you who's been making such a mess. Oh, congratulations, Star Detectives. You solved the mystery. Thanks, Barney. <laughs> Thanks for helping me find my kitten, but there's still something I haven't found. Oh? What? Yeah, tell us yeah. A name for my kitten. Oh, that's right, Jeff. Names are very important. Yeah, my name is really special, because I was named after my grandfather. Oh, and that's another way we're all different. We all have different names. <laughs> Did you find that tiger? <laughs> it wasn't a tiger scooter. It was just kitten. Well, it looks like a tiger to me. <laughs> a little tiger. <laughs> scooter just gave me a great idea. Now I know what to name my kitten. What you do? What is it, Jeff? I'll name him Tiger. Oh, oh, that's really good. Right? It's like a little tiger. Oh, that's a perfect name for him. Oh, yeah. Barney. <laughs> Barney, being detectives was a lot of fun. And we found out we're all different. We look different. We have different names. And we like different foods. We may be different in a lot of ways, but we're all the same in one way. How's that, Barney? We're all best friends. <laughs> I love you, you love me, we're a happy family, with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you, won't you say you love me too? What should we do now that we've solved the mystery? Well, it's still a perfect day to play outside. Anyone want to fly my kite now? It's time for Barney Says. Hello again to all my friends. I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never end. Here's what we did today. Someone was making a mess all over. Hmm, it was a mystery. One we had to solve. While looking around, we found out that... We're all different sizes. We like different things. And we even look different. You know, there are lots of ways we're different from each other. But all those differences make us extra special friends. We solved our mystery. It was Jeff's kitten. Jeff was happy to see him. 
people. I just love a good mystery. And remember, I love you. <laughs>